Okay, so now all we're gonna do is whip these boys down. All of them. See these stopwatches here? This is going to allow us to animate the mask so that it follows her face with the video. Let's just click boom on all of these. Mask path, mask path, mask, mask path. So now, see how it created these dots here? There were these, you know, diamonds. Those are keyframes. So at this point in time, the masks are just going to stay right where they are, right where we keyframe them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, first of all, we're going to zoom in. So it's this little uh, slider down here. We just do the zoom in button and I just click that so we can uh, scroll more finely through the timeline. And I'm just going to roll through this clip here. See how it gets off? So we're going to move it till it gets off. Okay, so now what I did was I clicked on one of the mask paths so we get the t this tool here that uh you know has this little white arrow with the box and that just means it's going to it's the selection tool. So we can just drag over all of these boys and now click on one of these dots here. Since they're all highlighted, they're all going to move. But you have to click on the dot and just move it move it to her face wherever she is so I'm, I'm actually lining up her chest right now I'm, I'm focusing on the chest one and as you see her whole face moved it morphed you know she moved she's just standing differently so now what we have to do is we just click off click off of that and now you can click each individual little dude and Yeah, just move it. Just move it to look good again. Pretty simple. And if you want to do this, say I want to move this whole thing. So I just select. Yep, 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 yep. And move it. That looks awesome. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to play it back, you know, scroll back. And clearly it gets off at points. So what I like to do is from here here we go pretty much in the middle because that's where it's going to be like the most off and uh, just fix the middle and sometimes you get lucky and it ends up lining up the whole thing so let's see just repeat that okay and I'm going to select her face shit so I messed up there so all I did was I pressed uh, command Z or Control Z on Windows to just undo. Oh crap, hold on. Let me click on the mask again to pull those up. Just be careful you don't click too close to them when you try to select. Okay, so now I'm just dragging it. I'm gonna, it actually looks pretty good. It's probably fine. So yeah. Now we look at it again, and it's staying pretty tight. It's on there pretty good. Um, it, it goes up into her eyes for a second there. That ain't going to work. All right, so if you hold down shift, like I accidentally selected this point by accident because I just couldn't help it. It was in the way. I'm just pressing down shift and clicking on it, and it just gets rid of it. And now I can move her face. No, I can't because... Hold on, let me select these. There we go. Okay. Boom, dude. I'm thinking that's pretty good, and it's it's tracked pretty well to her. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to cover up most of it, because I'm still going to do some tricks with coloring and stuff once we get it back into Premiere. Actually, I might even color it in here. Who knows? But that's the gist right there. That That's pretty much it. So this clip is done.